Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thanks for joining me for voting video number 391 in the Incredible Mandela Effect voting video series here on the Money Bank 73 channel. You are not going to believe this one here. This is crazy. I had to cut stuff out. There's just so much stuff. I literally felt like they changed the name of this movie and I was searching to, for that fact. Did they change? There's so much information for a different movie that actually in 2009 came out as identity theft. Now, if you remember identity theft, please sum this video up. If it's always been identity thief for you, this 2013 movie, you're going to thumb up the top comment, which is a thumb down for the video so that we can see the count since YouTube took the count away. So let's get into this. I'm going to go through this as fast as I can. This is crazy, people. Just give me like one minute. I'll just run through this as fast as I can. Two minutes later, she came back in and said, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize this, but... Uh... This is actually identity theft. So I saw identity theft, and you can probably tell that by the title of the video. Anyway, um, so here is my review of the first of the two films, Identity Theft. <clears throat> it stars Jason Bateman. So he just saw it. He just saw it that day or the day before. How are we doing, YouTube? It's Mr. Spoiler Alert, but you can call me Patrick. Um, I actually saw identity theft last night. Ident he saw identity theft last night. Welcome to another trailer review, and today I am going to be reviewing Identity Theft, uh, which stars Jason Bateman. And How do you make a movie that's going to rake in some dough, it's mildly entertaining, and just generally doesn't leave a bad taste in anyone's mouth? You get the director from Bridesmaids, the crazy chick from Bridesmaids, and a guy who will be in about almost any movie. And I give you Identity Theft, starring Melissa McCarthy and Jason Bateman. Yeah, starring Melissa McCarthy and Jason Bateman. All right, so we go from YouTube. How about some newspapers.com? Melissa McCarthy stars in the film Identity Theft alongside Jason Bateman. St. Charles Kane County Chronicle, February 2013. Here we have January 2013. Livingston County Daily Press. Identity Theft, rated R, Jason Bateman. Identity Theft, rated R, Jason Bateman. This is in uh, Mississippi. Here we have Identity Theft. On Wednesday, July 17th, Identity Theft with Jason Bateman. This is Northern Valley suburb, Suburbanite <laughs> to July 2013. Identity Theft. The 2013 movie Identity Theft told of a story of a man. Thumb this video up if you recall Identity Theft. Thumb up the top comment if you always remember Identity Thief, which was the name of the comment, but... Which was the name of the comment? Cut that. <laughs> I... I literally had to go search to see if they changed the name. There's so much stuff. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Identity theft. I'm watching Identity Theft and, and I'm gagging. Jason Bateman is super funny. Hashtag Identity Theft. I feel old as hell watching Identity Theft with Jason Bateman. This just goes on and on and on. Here, we'll stop right here. Identity Theft was great too. I mean... It just goes on and on and on. Watching the movie Identity Theft with Melissa McCarthy and Jason Bateman. Like, they're like watching it right now. <laughs> Not right now as I'm recording the video, but when they, you know, when they made the tweet in February 2018. Come on, everybody. I mean, when are we going to stop with the dementia, the amnesia, the cognitive illusions, the misattribution of memory? Vascular cognitive impairment, whatever, all this stuff. It has nothing to do with the Mandela effect. It's absolutely ridiculous. You don't misremember things you never knew before. When is everyone going to stop with this stuff? I mean, really? Early onset Alzheimer's? Is early onset Alzheimer's really going to cause millions of people to misremember which you can't even do if you didn't know things that way to begin with, but is it really going to cause people to make the same exact mistakes of hundreds of things they knew, in many cases, most of their lives. People just, come on, people. Let the, <laughs> I've been at this for so long. It's so hilarious. It's so crazy what's going on. This is just absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry I, I got off track here. Here's an autographed Melissa McCarthy signed identity theft movie script on eBay. Now, what do I find here? ID theft is the name of the screenplay. That's interesting, right? All right, so here it is. Here's the screenplay. 
uh, credit card propped up on a register screen. The name is Sandy Bigelow Patterson. Uh, the Daily Mail. What's the Daily Mail going to have here? Color me bad. Bridesmaid Melissa McCarthy gets a laugh in teased wig and floral number for new comedy identity theft. She's sure to raise a chuckle as the star of forthcoming comedy identity theft. June of 2012. Seth Gordon on for identity theft. Empire. Looks like Jason Bateman and director Seth Gordon had a good time working on Horrible Bosses because they've decided to team up for another comedy. Gordon is now on to make identity theft. This just goes on and on. I had to stop looking for stuff, people. T.I. joins Melissa McCarthy and Jason Bateman for identity theft. Seth Gordon to help Melissa McCarthy and Jason Bateman commit identity theft. Now, hey, that's what's actually happening in the movie. So that's why it says that, right? No. I mean, that could be, but so let's let's dig a little deeper here. Two of comedy's most marketable faces, teaming up for a little internet humor, have now found a host. Director Seth Gordon has signed on to direct a universal comedy called Identity Theft. That's what the movie's called. So... If you were thinking that, you know, they were just talking about an identity theft, which happens in the movie, that's not what, the, you know, they're actually remembering it as identity theft. Seth Gordon to direct identity theft starring Jason Bateman. I mean, this just doesn't stop, people. Identity theft is number one movie on demand. No, it's not. <laughs> it never it never was named that. All right, so I got through it all. That's about all I have. I could have shown you twice as much stuff. This is absolutely ridiculous. Researching this made me feel like timelines merging. Not jumping from one timeline where things were this way to another one where they're this way. It's like two separate timelines and they've come together and you have evidence of both of them. We see that with so many Mandela effects. So that's what I'm feeling on this one. You know I really believe there's some type of consciousness shift. But everything's on the table for me. So that's it everyone. Comment down below. Vote, subscribe to the channel. I mean, I hardly ever say subscribe to the channel. There's going to be a lot more videos. I mean, Delphi's not going away. I've been at this over six years. It's an incredible phenomenon, everyone. Stop with the misremembering, misattribution of memory, cognitive illusions, amnesia, dementia. What? This is just ridiculous. Early onset Alzheimer's. Those deniers are just absolutely off their rocker at this point. There's so much information showing something odd is happening. And it's just ridiculous the amount of people that'll tell you people don't remember things right. I mean, that's getting so old, okay? <laughs> anyway, I know I'm preaching to the choir. I'm sorry, but this is just, just getting out of hand. So go create the reality that you want. We are all powerful creators. That's my opinion. That's my honest belief. So that's it. Talk to everyone soon.